girl. Come on then. She's so playful, it's lovely. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, so. Seems a bit cruel, I know, to some people having her on a long line, but at the moment, it's better to have that on than risk losing her. And with a new fence coming tomorrow. Hey, good girl. So, Sophie. Hey, good girl. Good girl. Oh, you gorgeous girl. Come on, then. Oh. So, my days of playing, in, willingly playing in the snow, um, a little bit limited now I've got to be honest but hey for most dogs the instinct about snow is it's good news because in the winter time it's actually the best time for a pack to hunt not the individual and these whether Sophie was part of a pack which I imagine she was but they can bring down bigger prey animals but of course that's living free and not how I call it urban there's a huge difference and we don't know how urban her life was whether she did live sort of on the outskirts of the town and and made her own living that way we'll never know but whatever it is for the big big packs that make up the uh, majority of free living canines their prey which is big stuff their legs sink into the snow it slows them down where the walls can kind of glide over it and of course the winter weakens the uh, prey animals and the weakest drop to the back hence they're able to pick them off easier nature's way of working out you know, survival and strength of the uh, well survival of the fittest it's as simple as that that's why i know how smart these dogs are because to survive so far They've got to have got some intelligence about them. And she certainly has. Yeah, good girl. I like to just come out and have a mosey around. And of course, when I'm lucky, I know. And when uh, we do get a companion, then the three of us can come out and enjoy this area. Yes. Back to the house for a, a warm up. <laughs> 